Have you been wanting to put together a spring capsule wardrobe but don't know where to start? Well, I'm gonna help you solve that right now. So let's dive right in. Hello, fashionista. I'm Nancy Queen, and I'm here to help you build a wardrobe full of clothes you love to wear so you love getting dressed every single day. And today we're talking about capsule wardrobes and actually my spring capsule wardrobe. Now, I get so many questions about capsule wardrobes and how to pull it together. Does it have to be my whole closet? What do I do with everything that's left over? And I'm gonna show you my capsule wardrobe and I'm also gonna give you tips for how to put together a capsule wardrobe no matter whether you buy everything from a couple of companies, whether you buy things that you thrift, shop vintage, you can put together a capsule wardrobe using all of the tools and techniques. I'm gonna have free printables for you in the description, as well as links to all of the clothes here in the video, but we'll get into those details a little bit later in the video. Let's talk about my spring capsule wardrobe and why I even have one. I grew up on the East Coast, just outside of Philadelphia, and we experienced all four seasons. If you experience all four seasons, let me know in the comments. I'd love to know and where you're from. Put that in the comments too. What we would do when I was a kid was when it was spring and summer, we'd get out our spring and summer clothes. And then when spring and summer ended, we would put these clothes away and bring out our winter, fall and winter wardrobe. And every year we'd add a few more pieces. Well, that is kind of the same concept of a capsule wardrobe. It's so that you can just have a curated collection of clothes so you're not looking at this overwhelming closet of clothes, you don't know what's in there, and you can mix and match all of the pieces. So as you know, I'm a huge fan of Lily Pulitzer. So the majority of my clothes are from Lily Pulitzer. But like I said, you'll be able to use these principles and use it for any brand. J. Crew, uh, Eileen Fisher, Land's End, they all have basics. And if you buy their basics, once you know what your style is, you buy their basics and then you'll have those for years to come and you can mix them and match them in. My whole capsule wardrobe of clothing is 36 pieces. I counted, this is it. This is all I wear the entire spring. I'll probably add a few more pieces in for summer, but I will keep you updated on that and what I'm doing, but this is it. And I have another um, mini capsule wardrobe that is just my, leisure wear and, and athletic wear. And I'm going to be doing another video on that in the near future. So stay tuned when I have it up, I will link it here. But um, this is my everyday go-to wardrobe, no matter what, whether I have a special event, whether I'm going to work, whether I'm running errands, this is, this is my work, this is my everyday wardrobe. Going to lunch, going to brunch, you name it, dinner out, date night, it's all in here. Again, it's 36 pieces, and these are basics that you can pull in no matter what your style, no matter what brand you shop from. And as I've mentioned before, I like to have two or three companies that I tend to buy from because I know their style and I know that their clothes will work well with clothes I already have. So let's talk about the pieces in my capsule wardrobe. I've got all of my shirts here. I've got the jacket, two jackets, including the ones that the one I'm wearing, um, three dresses, including this one, and then I've got a few skirts and short, skirts and shorts and jeans. So I really don't have any pants, but you could easily substitute pants. You can easily substitute in the pieces that you like for any of these pieces. What I want you to take away from this is that my wardrobe is basically built with basic key pieces, those essential pieces. Kind of, I like to think of them as the boring pieces that really pull your whole wardrobe together. And I know a lot of capsule wardrobe out there are done in grays and blacks. And I think that makes it a little hard to really see what a capsule wardrobe is all about. And I love color, so you're gonna see a lot of color, and I hope that inspires you not only to add color, but to actually see 
what pieces I'm putting in, understand what will mix and match together. So one of the key pieces I always like to have, no matter what, is a tank, because you can layer this under just about anything. I can layer it under a shirt. I can wear it alone. This one is actually reversible. Um, and I like the V neckline on it and it's a nice drapey fabric. So it has a little bit of a dressier look to it as well. A tank top is a very important piece in my wardrobe. The next important piece in my wardrobe are t-shirts. Now this is pretty much the same t-shirt. This one's a V neck but these other two are both scoop necks in my favorite colors. And if you go anywhere, like you walk into any retail store, like an Old Navy, a Gap, a J. Crew, they are all gonna have basic t-shirts in a thousand different colors. So what I do is I buy my favorite colors in a size that fits, in a shape that I like, and I buy it in every color so that I can in all my favorite colors so that it will mix and match in with my wardrobe. And they're usually not expensive. It's a great way to build your capsule wardrobe without breaking the bank. So we'll go back to those in a few minutes. The next thing that I have are some shirts. Now, what I want you to know is we tend to get really overwhelmed with pattern. And that's really what's exciting. When you walk in a store, you see like a really exciting pattern and that to me, that's what I go to right away. And shopping so much Lily Pulitzer, Lily Pulitzer is really known for its prints. But if you look at my wardrobe overall, you actually see very few prints in here. Um, almost all of these pieces are solids. And then I mix in a few pieces that I really love in various prints. And if you notice, all of my prints are in color palettes that I like so that they work back in with all of the other solid pieces. So let's go into my shirts. That's the majority of my wardrobe right here are my everyday sh shirts. And I have, in addition to my tank and my white tee, I have this little kind of a baby doll shirt with a little um, puffy sleeve and a little shearing on the, on the side. And then I have this, which is one of my favorite button down shirts with a three quarter sleeve and a little bit of eyelet detail on it. And then I have this one that is a simple tunic, but it's got really pretty pink, bright pink pom poms and a, an embroidery detail on the sleeve. So those are all of my white shirts. Then we'll go into my pink shirts. And the first one, I'm sure you've seen this. If you've seen my button down video, you've seen my button down shirts. I have these in several colors. The ones I'm wearing this season are the pink and the blue. And then I have polo shirt, just a nice cotton knit casual. I have this, this is my newest piece. It's a little pink, bright pink and orange top that's exactly the same as my white top. When I find a silhouette that I like, if it comes in various uh, colors, I go for it. And then I have this little shirt uh, with a little bit of ruffle on the sleeve. And I have this little um, sleeveless top. I don't really wear too much sleeveless, but I love this because the little bit of ruffle on the sleeve softens my shoulder and I don't mind wearing it sleeveless because it's it's very flattering on and I always get compliments when I wear this. This has got to be one of my absolute favorites. You've probably seen it in another video. Uh, just a bright pink shirt. It's a just a nice plain eyelet button down. I wear it with a nude bra. Even though it's see-through, you wearing it with a nude bra, you don't see anything. I almost always wear this with white pants and or white jeans and it's one of my favorites. And then the last three shirts I have are this blue button down, this little cute print shirt that I just had to have because I love the ruffle on the collar and the the print that it's got and it's a um, both of these are an athletic fiber, so they're really easy care. They're moisture wicking. They have UPF 50 built right in, so I don't have to worry about getting sunburned when I'm wearing them. And then this one is a little navy and white. I've worn this in a video as well, and I like the little bit of a puffy sleeve on it. Just, I just think they're so cute. We're on to my jackets. 
Now, if you live somewhere where it's a rainy season, you might need to, instead of a jean jacket, you might want to throw in a raincoat, but that's the ability you'll have with your capsule wardrobe. But for me in Southern California, the most I need is just a little lightweight jacket. I have the same jacket in white and this pretty denim blue. And then the last of my tops are my dresses. I have three dresses I'm wearing right now. All three of them are shift dresses. I absolutely love the shift dress because it's comfortable. I have a little bit of an apple figure, so it's uh, very slimming. It gives me a figure where I might look pretty straight most of the time. And I just love the silhouette. So this is again, a Lily Pulitzer print. The one I'm wearing is Lily Pulitzer. And this is the Tisbury shift with a ruffle collar. And then we're going to go into my skorts and shorts. Half of these bottoms are printed. First half of these are solids. I've got two skorts, this blue skort and white skort. They're the exact same skort. They're really comfortable, really cute on. They have little shorts built in. So I feel dressed up, but I'm actually super comfortable because I have little shorts underneath. And then I have a little pair of pink shorts. So those are my solids in my short skirt combo. And then I love doing some prints because it's just a great way to add a print into my life without it being overwhelming. So I've got this little pink and green short with a, a scallop. I don't know if you can see the scallop detail here on the, the leg, the bottom hem. I've got, these are all scalloped edge. Uh, this navy pink and green. And then this is a periwinkle colored skirt. See, this has got the little shorts in. And then it has green and pink and white and navy. So if you notice all of the other underlying tones on these are pink, white, navy. Even though they're all different pattern prints, they still have all of the same colors underlying, which makes it really easy when I go to mix and match my pieces. The last three pieces I have are, I, have, I love wearing white jeans, and this is a um, straight leg white denim jean with the gold button front. That's a really nice trend this season. And these are the same uh, straight leg, kind of a skinny jean. I have them in white and this denim blue. I have some sweaters. I have this one that I'm wearing. It's a, it's a Vineyard Vines V-neck. And it's actually one of my favorites. I love wearing it like I'm showing you today, layered. And then I have this little cardigan, which you might have seen in a previous video. It's very Chanel inspired or St. John looking. Love the classic look to it. And then I have, these are actually the same style sweater. One is a solid with the little gold button detail at the top, at the neckline. And then I have it in a really cute leopard print. So those are all of the clothes in my closet. And I also have, because I don't have to deal with rain very often, I have two wraps. Because here in Southern California, even though it might get nice and warm during the day, once the sun goes down and the marine layer rolls in, it gets really chilly in the evening. So I always keep wraps with me. I have one gold wrap and one pink wrap. And then as far as accessories go, I have uh, six pairs of shoes that I switch between and mostly they're sandals and sneakers because of the lifestyle I have. Again, if you need more or less shoes, that's okay because you might be in a climate where you have rainy season, you need boots, uh, it might still be cold. So you might need rain boots, outdoor boots, closed toe shoes. So do what works for you, but use these as a suggestion for how to mix and match and take away the things like the color choices that I've used. Like you'll see with my shoes here, I've got pink shoes, gold shoes, and white shoes. That's really the majority because, and then the navy shoes they all work back into my wardrobe. So they give me lots of styling options. I'm not just looking for one pair of shoes that will go with one outfit. 
I look for good basic shoes that I have a little bit of style to them that can work back and be worn with so many different outfit options. And then as far as accessories, I have one belt. It's this little gold braided belt. <laughs> That's the only belt I have. And I have four bags that I mix between all season long. The first one is this gold clutch. Now I use this for really, this is like my night out bag. It goes with any outfit I have on. Like even with this, I could dress this up, wear a gold shoe, switch to a, my little clutch and I'm ready for dinner out date night. Uh, it would also be great for a wedding. You know, whatever nighttime event, this is what I carry. And then the other three bags I have are all totes. Um, this one is one that I carry pretty much most casually if I'm running to the grocery store, going for a walk, just running little errands. I carry my little navy long champ bag. And again, it goes with pretty much everything here. And then these are my two everyday carries. And I switch back and forth between these just depending on what I'm wearing. So since I have a lot of pattern on today, I would not carry this bag. If I were wearing a solid outfit, this is always my go-to. If I've got a lot of pattern on and I'm running out, going to work, running errands, this is my go-to, is my larger tote in the gold and then same thing with my accessories now i'll keep show you i'll keep my accessories very simple the big things for me is i like to have a couple of bracelets so i can switch those again i have a navy version and a pink version and they work back into everything in my wardrobe i've got a simple gold bangle i have a few pairs of earrings that i like to switch between and again they're just that same basic color combination. Now my rule of thumb with earrings is if I'm wearing something busy, like this has a print to it today, I would wear a little solid kind of a stud earring. I keep my earrings really simple if I'm wearing a print. However, if I'm wearing a solid, I will go kind of crazy and wear a big earring like this. And then the other thing is my watch bands. I love my Apple watch and I love switching my bands, but you could do this if you have several watches. I know I used to have a watch that I could switch the watch bands to little ribbons and I would switch them up every day to coordinate with my outfit. But even if you just have a simple gold watch or silver watch, you can just put that on every day, not even have to think about it. I have just a few different colored bands. I have these two prints and these solids. And then just based on my outfit, if I'm wearing a solid, I put on one of the print watch bands. If I'm wearing a print like today, I would put on a solid watch band. Now let's talk about how I mix and match all of the pieces you see here. I'm gonna start with this pair of shorts. This is a great example. This little pair of shorts is a really cute print. It's got colors white, pink, green. So those are the main colors, pink, white, green. So guess what? Remember what I showed you earlier? Oh yeah, I have shirts in pink, white, and green. So they would go, I can wear any of these shirts. In fact, I'm here's some pictures of me wearing my outfit using the pink, white, or green. Which one do you like? Let me know in the comments whether you like the pink, white, or green t-shirt with these shorts. So now rather than having one pair of shorts with one shirt option, I have three outfits here just based on that one by because I bought this. And I could take that, see these same combos and look, wear it, wear it with this. So now I've gone from this, two options. Now, because I bought these three coordinating t-shirts, I now have six outfit options. And guess what? This little squirt right here will go with any of these three t-shirts again. So now, as opposed to having just three shorts and not many options, I now have nine outfit ideas because I have this squirt will go with any of these little tees. The other thing I wanna show you is I decided I wanted to wear this out in the evening. So how do I dress this up? Well, I wore mine with my tank and then I put my jacket over it, as you can see here, and I updated it with a fancier shoe. I added my gold clutch and now I've taken this casual daytime short and updated it 
for a dinner out with my husband. Okay, and now I'm not gonna stop there because let's go through some other pieces in my wardrobe. So I can take any of these four shirts and also wear it with this little pair of shorts. So think of how many outfit ideas I've taken and mixed and matched because I've bought pieces that will work back to one another. Now let's talk about my, my white. And you can make this basic color. Let's say you are into beige or gray. If you were doing this exact same thing using uh, like a gray print or a gray and black print, you know, or let's say you're into black and white, you could take the same concept and do that. You'd have maybe a couple of prints and then lots of either gray, white, or black solids, and you would mix and match the same way. So when I talk about my, here's my two basic, I've got my little skirt and my jeans, they will work with any piece here that I have. I can wear any of these items. There's not a single item here that I would not wear with these right here. So think of how many outfit options. I mean, easily we're talking just with these right here, these two pieces. I have 30 days worth of outfits with my shirts here. And then if I wanted to, I could layer it with a jean jacket in white or a jean jacket in the blue denim just to give it a whole different look. Most people think with dresses that you put on your dress and you've just got to wear it like that. Well, I don't like to think of it that way. I like to think of it like, how can I layer up one thing? So a lot of people will buy a dress like this, wear it to a fancy event or wear it to work this way. And then that's it. They won't wear it any other way. Well, I've thrown on a jacket that gives it a whole nother dimension. Now I've taken it and added a sweater over my shoulders. So it actually takes it a little bit dressier with just the jacket or I can make it a little bit more casual. I could even throw on a pair of little tennis sneakers with this and make it super casual. Great for like a lunch with a friend or out for a nice walk. And I still look cute, pulled together, but my dress has gone from like a fancy, I mean, I could even wear this to a wedding. Based on what I'm pairing it with, we'll dress it down or up. You know, I could, let's say I'm going out, I could put this with a gold wrap and a gold pair of shoes and my gold clutch. And then I have a nighttime outfit that's suitable for a very fancy wedding. I could put it with this pink one. I could put it with my jean jacket and make it very casual, very relaxed. I hope you see where I'm going here with this and that your capsule wardrobe is not to punish you. It's actually to help you pare down, see your wardrobe in a whole new way and be able to put together combinations with what you have because you've bought with intention. Now I created a printable of all of the pieces so that you know, okay, I should have this many skirts, shorts in my wardrobe, this many tank tops, t-shirts. So you can go down that, load that printable. And if you wanna see outfit combinations that I've put together here, you can go check my Instagram because I provide images every day of the different outfits that I'm wearing based on this capsule wardrobe that I've just showed you. So let me know what you think of the capsule wardrobe in the comments and I will see you in the next video.